this is Mavi. Today we're going to be talking about the new Pillow Talk Trim Palette and we're going to be comparing it to the original Pillow Talk Palette. Is that something that you're interested in? Keep on watching. Alright, so here's the new palette from Charlotte Tavery. This is called the Dream, the Pillow Talk Dreams. So it's right here and basically I do have the other palette, the regular Pillow Talk and I thought to myself, do I need to get this palette? Is this palette going to be better than this one? I was thinking, if I didn't have any of these palettes, which palette should I buy? Many of you probably already have this one and you're not sure whether to buy this one or probably you don't have any of these two. So I'm going to be using basically the same placement for each shadow so it, the same way I apply the first shadow I'm gonna be applying the other shadow too and hopefully this is gonna help you to figure out whether if you need one of them or both of them so yeah that's the goal so I got you a little closer and the first thing that I want to show you is the pillow top dreams I want to swatch first the prime shadow that we're going to be using this formula right away I can tell it's very silky it's giving me the wet look but let's see I'm going to switch it right here and that will be the prime shade and this one feels a little bit more powdery so here the one from the new palette it's a little bit more smoother i would say and definitely it's giving me more impact so we're doing the enhanced shade from the new palette just gonna swatch it old quad and there you go these are the two enhanced shade smoke shade from the new palette the pillow of dreams going to the smoke shade from the Pillow Talk Qua, the original and there you go well we can tell there is a huge difference between these palettes correct so I'm gonna be doing the super pop so from this name already when she's adding the super I know it's gonna be different and this will be the super pop in her old quads this pop shade is very hard to get um, and also it's not expected to be as a super sparkly shadow so i know for sure it's gonna be completely different as this one and yeah it's definitely a little bit more mild i got you a little bit closer so you can see very well just to let you know my eyes are already prepped I usually prep like in all my videos with my favorite concealer and I love this powder from Charlotte Tavery just to set it and to make sure that everything is smooth on my lids so I'm gonna be using different brushes for each palette so we give them a fair chance and the right? Pillow Talk Dream I'm going to be taking the enhanced shade which is the second on top and it's grabbing a lot actually and so I'm going to be placing this basically throughout all my lid again these shadows are super super blendable what everybody loves about Charlotte Tilbury products is that you don't have to do much a little bit more just to deepen the color and to get to the root of the lashes right there I'm going to blend it later but I just want to place the color new brush and the original pillow talk quad and I'm going to be doing the same thing I'm just going to grab the enhanced shade and this one is also picking up very well okay so this one of course is going to be lighter now when she came out with this palette a lot of people were a little bit disappointed because if you were like median or medium tan skin tones or deeper even this palette didn't show for me it kind of works because I'm lighter in winter time but over the summer this is one of the palettes that I can't really use unless I complement it with another palette just to create more depth so I'm glad that she came out with this new quad 
to cater deeper skin tones all right so i'm going back to the pillow top dreams which is the new palette um i'm going to be grabbing the same color the enhanced shade and i'm going to work it on my lower lash line so i'm going to be bringing it right here so almost all the way here but i'm gonna stop right here almost getting into the inner part but not really and i'm gonna grab a little bit more to deepen this i'm gonna connect it right here original pillow talk i'm going to grab the hand shape with a new brush by the way i'm gonna run it underneath the same way as the other one not all the way into the inner part but just close enough and i'm going to connect it right here so everything looks very cohesive pillow to dreams and i think i'm gonna grab now the smoke shade and i'm going to be placing this right here oh and it's very deep as you can see i'm gonna bring a little bit here on my crease and i'm just gonna take it a little bit here the lower lash line but not all the way i'm gonna keep the same angle and i'm gonna bring it up a little bit and i'm gonna continue building this okay so these are blending like a dream <laughs> that's my olivia she's scratching the door <laughs> all right hold on one second all right so this is olivia and she was like why i'm not in this video <laughs> she wants to be everywhere i go she's so cute but she's very demanding and she just got a haircut right oh <laughs> anyway i'm gonna put her down okay i'm going to be doing the same thing with the pillow top original so i'm going to grab the smoke shade gonna pack it on my brush and I'm going to kind of like focus this on the outer side of my eye like creating some depth I'm going to deepen a little bit more because I feel like this color is taking longer to show on my skin even though it's the smoke shade I need to build it just keeping it in the outer side of my eye and also kind of like creating the same angle and kind of like connecting it so yeah i feel like with the original quad you need to build it you need to create layers and layers so i'm gonna be blending all this and i'm gonna be using again two similar brushes i like to diffuse my lines and then keeping the same angle as my lower lash line I'm going to stamp my eyeshadow like that I'm going to be doing the same thing with another brush on the other side now that I see in the mirror by the way I have my mirror here I feel like I can add a little bit more depth I'm going to be more careful with this one because I feel like I'm going to get more impact and like I said, yes so my lid is a little bit more heavy right here so i like to open my eye and see where i need to add this color i'm gonna grab this one over here the enhanced shade i'm going to be blending a little farther okay i'm gonna be doing the same thing with the, the pillow talk original smoke shade i'm gonna stamp it right there with my eye open the enhanced shade gonna help me to further blend my lines I'm trying to imitate what I do here here finally I'm gonna be using the prime shade but for this one I don't have similar brushes so I'm just gonna use uh, brushes that are kind of for the same purpose but they're different brands prime shade which is the lightest and what I'm going to be doing is just create some light I'm very very happy with how this is applying so I'm bringing the prime shade right here this one also in the inner rim of my lower lash line with the original pillow talk and here is the prime shade 
so I'm going to be using this on the inner rim all right so this is giving me a more natural look so this might be a deal breaker for some of you right because some of you might like a more natural look or something more subtle and definitely the pillow of dreams is giving me more like a diva look right and so for this part i'm just going to use my finger because charlotte overy always recommends to use the pop shades and in this case the super pop with your finger so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be digging in the super pop shade from the pillow top dreams and i'm going to apply it right here all right hmm okay let me add a little bit more okay so this is giving me a lot of fallout first of all and second of all these two shades on the lid they look pretty similar I don't know if it's my idea, but I'm not getting like a strong difference between them. Now I'm gonna dig into the original Pillow Top palette, but I'm gonna be using a different finger. And as you can see, I don't get that much. And I'm just going to apply it right here. You see, even though it's very natural, it still is giving me this beautiful sparkling effect that I really, really like. Quickly before I go, I just want to show you that with the Pillow Talk Dreams, I got a lot of um, fallout. While in this one, I didn't get that much. So if that's a deal breaker for you, now you know which one to pick. I think I'm done. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add eyeliner, mascara. because I'm going to clean also around my eyes to see and to show you how everything looks at the end. So I'm back with the final look. I'm gonna add all the products that I use in the rest of the face in the description box. But going back to my shadow, uh, do you guys feel like there is a huge difference? I don't know, I wanna see what you guys think about it. I'm very curious, I don't know. It's, please let me know in the comment section. All right, so I'm gonna tell you what I think. I feel like there is a difference but I don't feel like a huge difference, you know what I mean? Like, I don't feel like it's super different to the point that I'm like, I need both. I feel like both palettes work on my skin. The original one, it's more like in the brownish side, more copperish, right? And on this one, which is a new one, I feel like, yes, it's deeper, but it's more rosy. I feel like there's more pink, more mauve tones on this one and on this one it's more like copperish and warm and brownish both palettes are beautiful but i don't think you need both especially especially if you already have the original one i feel like you can achieve this look easily i don't feel like this new palette is something innovative i i, I don't feel like it's something extraordinary new that if you don't get it you're missing out both formulas are completely different. I feel like the original Pillow Talk is a little bit more powdery, but you get less fallout, if that makes sense. Also, the impact is less, of course, but if you like natural looks, this is your friend. And I feel like this one, you get, of course, a more silky and more impact on color, but it has more fallout. You know, I feel when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury, you really need to be careful because she tends to repeat some of the shadows. I'm very torn by these two shadows because as you can see, I do have the super pop all over the lid right here and then I have the prime here. And I don't know if it's me or it's the lighting, but I don't feel like there is a huge difference between them. My conclusion is, if you have already this palette and you have maybe another quads or palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, I think you're gonna be all set. I don't think you need this new palette. Now, if you don't have this one and you just wanna see how this one is, I think it's a great buy. If you are my skin tone or lighter, I will prefer probably this one. Or if you're my skin tone and deeper, I would say this one because this is what it's for, right? For deeper skin tones. But if 
you are my skin tone but you like more glam looks I would say get this one if you're my skin tone and you like more simple and natural looks I would say go for the original and that's my thoughts I hope I really help you to pick the right pillow top quad for you I hope you made a decision I hope this video helped you also to give you an idea how to create a look and as always I want to thank you for watching this video thank you so much for all the love and the comments that you've been leaving in my channel and if you haven't done it yet please don't forget to subscribe to give it a like to share it with someone that you love so you can help me to create more content in the future and I will see you until the next video bye bye Mindy. <laughs> Indy